feel like I'm going to fail miserably either at keeping myself dry or keeping the camera dry, and <laughs> I haven't decided which one it's going to be yet. The camera's more important than you. It's, it's true. So, I'm thinking, first up, it's really loud here. Why is it really loud right here? Oh, there's a car. That's why. <laughs> What's your favorite thing about living in Japan, and how is that thing different than the way that it is in the U.S.? Um, that's a hard question. You didn't give me any, like... You're welcome. You didn't no give me any warning. Uh, none. None okay. whatsoever. It's windy. Oh, God. There's benches. I hope you fall. This is going to be a terrible, terrible video. Great. <laughs> oh, my uh, I think my favorite thing about living in Japan is probably just, like, how accessible everything is. Like, all you got to do is, like, walk, like five or ten minutes and then you're somewhere like you don't have to drive 20 minutes like where I used to live to even get to like the closest thing uh, in that same like kind of vein uh, that's like the vending machines that are like literally everywhere which is what we're walking to right now they all have kind of different things which makes it kind of hard sometimes if you want a specific thing you have to like walk to a bunch of different vending machines to try and find what you want but a lot of the times it's very convenient and like the like lots of them have like water and stuff so if you are like super thirsty because it's really hot one day or something it's pretty easy to find like a water yeah convenience are super are helpful i'm gonna get my oh, i got one more rice behind you. What? Nice cars are everywhere here. I love this little baby. Look at it. Look at it. Look at the little baby statue. It's got a little knitted hat. I don't know who did that. But, um, but my favorite part is probably the cars. It's so expensive to own a car here that the only people who can do it are super rich, which means all the cars you see are super nice. Like that Rolls Royce that we just saw. We did just see a nice Rolls Royce. So that's probably one of my favorite things and like most of my favorite like a lot of my favorite car brands are all headquartered here so there's a ton of their cars here which is nice too i don't mind all the walking around either that's definitely something that's at least healthier than in the u.s wouldn't you agree maya yeah i just don't like hills well it is surprisingly hilly considering we're like on the same level as the sea you know? I always forget that. I always forget that we're you forget, you forget that we're literally on an, on an island slash literally right on the edge of said island. Literally. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. That's why whenever it's rainy like this, it sucks because it stays rainy the entire day. Yeah. I hate it. It's never like just a little bit of rain and then sunshine. It's always just like, Even oh, it's sprinkling yeah it's gonna be like this for the entire 24 hours until you wake up tomorrow and then maybe it'll be different yeah plus like everything shuts down when it rains yeah because everybody walks everywhere they don't like the so rain they don't like to walk in the rain this is a high school is this is a, this is a high school I know that I knew that that was like a mid elementary school but I didn't know that that was a high school middle school high school Interesting. Yeah, I always felt really judged because I just had blonde hair when I walked by and they were all like uniforms well, and I was very, wearing like- we're very American. <laughs> I was wearing something like this to school and they all like had uniforms and we're like- I can say that's that's probably one thing that I'm not super like, it, that I dislike about being here is that we stick out so much. <laughs> we do stick out a lot. People take pictures of my hair on the train. Yeah. And it makes it hard to do stuff like this where you stick out even if you're in your own culture. <laughs> yeah. And then you try and do this also inside someone else's culture and you just look extra weird. It's okay. You always yep. look weird. Well, I know I always look weird, but... I don't. <laughs> I'm used to it at this point. You were visibly uncomfortable there for a second when there were people walking past. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not used to the... Oh god, there's a truck. Oh, okay. <laughs> Oh, 
like one of the things I want to do before we leave is I want to drive a car here. I'm literally gonna like rent a car to just drive around. Do you have your international driver's license? I do have my international driver's license. That is a, a fact. We're going inside. This is terrible. <laughs> All right, rapid fire questions. We got ten questions. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. All right. What do you What do you miss most about the U.S.? Food. Do you speak Japanese? Not a word. Are typhoons slash earthquakes scary? Not as much as you expect them to be. How much has your diet changed? Not at all. Do you still eat American food? I do. What is something you will miss about Japan? Um, I really like my school. What's your favorite memory from your time in Japan? Um, <laughs> probably the this Kanto tournament uh, at my school for basketball. We had a bunch of schools from like Guam and Taiwan and like a bunch of different places come and we all we got out of school or we got out of classes for two days and got to play a bunch of basketball and just kind of run around the school wild it was kind of fun did the other kids at your school come to japan for similar reasons uh yeah a lot of them i mean some of them their parents work for like the government whereas my mom got like an international assignment you know so it depends most of them get international assignments like me but like some of them are from the government or they just live here and they're actual Japanese citizens, but they're, but their parents wanted them to get an American education. Is there only one American school in Japan? Technically, yes, there's only one American school in Japan, but there's like BST, which is British school in Tokyo. Like there's Seisen International School. So like there's other international schools, but yes, ASIJ is the only American school, I think. In Japan or just in Tokyo? In Japan, I'm not quite sure. I just know mostly of once in Tokyo. Uh, and the last one is, do you still play sports? Because you were a yes. high school athlete in the U.S. Yes, I still play sports. A lot of people ask me this question. Yes, uh, the American school in Japan is just like a normal high school in America, but just in Japan. So it still has sports, and I still play them. And in fact, you're going D2 for soccer for college, so. I am indeed. Next turn. So, what do you miss most about the U.S.? Food that's bad for me, my cat, and uh, different flavors of Red Bull. Do you speak Japanese? A little bit. Are typhoons or earthquakes scary? I haven't had a typhoon, but the earthquakes aren't scary. They're just surprising because you don't know when they're going to happen. How much has your diet changed? Um, actually, kind of a lot. I eat probably worse here, arguably because it's harder for me to find food that is better for me because I can't read what the packaging says. <laughs> Do you still eat American food? Yes. We order McDonald's more often than I care to admit. What is something you will miss about Japan? Um, being able to walk everywhere. Favorite memory from your time in Japan? Um, probably either climbing in Mitake or visiting Hiroshima. What did you have to do to adapt to life here? Um, get used to walking everywhere, first of all. I really like driving, so not driving anymore was uh, strange. Um, pay attention to what other people are doing so that you don't stand out, like walk on the left side of sidewalks and stairways and stuff and pay attention to the way things are labeled because sometimes they switch it on you. Sometimes the staircases are labeled and they tell you which side you're supposed to walk up and stuff little things like that are hard like not trying to be less american what's something you never realized you'd miss until you moved oh god um i don't know driving's a good one but um probably being able to easily communicate with the people around you what's the best touristy place you've been in japan I like the really tall buildings, like uh, Tokyo Sky Tree and stuff, where you can see over all the other buildings in the city and you can see like all the way to the mountains and stuff. But some people don't like heights, so probably Tokyo Tower. Okay. Those weren't very rapid fire. I took a long time to answer all of those. Really I know, I'm bad. Mm -hmm.